Do you still sleep with the lights on? No. Do you still sleep with the light on? No. Do you sleep naked? Yes. Okay. All right, so the plastic's drying. Everything's working out really good. What do you think? I think the lamps look fantastic. I think Colin's going to be really excited about these. I think he's going to dig them. Yeah. Next step, we have to cut out what's going to become the bases of the lamp. OK. Take off our handy dandy wood clamps. We're going to draw a circle on here to give us a pattern to cut from on the bandsaw. OK. It's just going to be a disc like you see in the drawing. Gotcha. Now, what is this thing called? It's a compass. That looks like an old one. Garage sale, one dollar. I have so many different toolboxes in my life. I have my TV toolbox, my home toolbox. So whenever I see something like this, I always buy several of them. Gotcha. You know what my toolbox is? Where? Right in there. <laughs> I got plenty of tools to make this show funny. Yeah, it looks like a big cookie. Making my mouth water. Remember in, when we were in junior high school? Remember what everybody would do in wood shop? Yeah, they turned all the machines on. And then when Mr. Farrar would put the power strip, all the tools would come on. Yeah. People thought that was funny. OK. Put this away for just a second. This is the mounting plate. We're going to mount this to the disc and spin it to give us a precision edge. Well, obviously, it's a kind of a personal thing that you do on your own. Anything I can get out in the store? Uh, why don't you go and get the parts for the lamp? Make sure there's wire in it, the plug. Right. And the lamp top thing that holds the shade and two round shades. OK. Be careful. Hey, John, how you hey, doing? Matt, how you doing? We are building two custom-made retro lamps. And Jimmy sent me for all the guts, he called them, or the pieces of the lamp. Uh, maybe you want to get a kit. Oh, you have kits with everything in? We have the kit complete. That's what I'm looking and for. And that'll, that'll also include, like, the harp and the other products, so. Uh, this will be in the kit? Absolutely. All right, you got it. Where are those? I'm following right, you. Right around the corner. Here we go. I need two of those. OK. You got it. Thanks, dude. This is a lathe. I'm using a half-inch gouge just to get rid of all the bandsaw ridge lines. Now, because I want a flat side, I'm going to use a flat chisel. I started sanding with 120, now I'm working my way up to 220. The higher the number, the smoother like glass our finished piece will be. Wow, that's nice. Now that our bases are precise circles, what I'm going to do next is drill a hole to accept the threaded rod, which is going to keep the entire lamp together as one unit. I'm cutting a 3 8 of an inch diameter hole, because that's how thick the threaded rod is. OK, the next step, I'm going to drill a pocket in the bottom to accept the bolt for the other side of the threaded rod. What's up? I'm back from the store. I got everything you asked for. Good. Take a look. That's the base? This is the base. I drilled a hole through the center that's going to accept the threaded rod. And everything is going to stack on the threaded rod. We'll bolt the top. Everything's going to be held on this. This is going to be a little too long. We'll cut it to the right height once we know exactly where it will be. OK. All right, I'll brewax these dark brown. You brewax those. I'll start pulling the plaster out of the trays. OK. Getting all forms in shape. I put the wooden peg in there. I got it. it comes right out. Boom. The wooden peg makes the hole. We're using brewax because not only does it look good, it's very easy to use. In about five minutes, it'll be completely dry. And then I rub it back off, and it takes a shine. And usually, when I do a piece of furniture, I don't do the bottom, because no one's going to see it. But in this case, I think I can put in the extra eight seconds. And that does burn calories. I probably burned one or two calories right there. Those remind me of chicken pot pies, speaking of lunch. I remember you and Dad always shared pit chicken pot pies growing up. It was like your own special treat. You and Dad always liked them. To me, it looked like when you broke the crust, it was just full of throw up. I could never get past Baby vomit. <laughs> You see the formation? Don't drop it. I won't. Oh, that's heavy. There we go. I'm using a sure form plane to flatten the face. So when the faces go together, they're flush. Right now, let's drill the hole that's going to become the hole for the wire. We'll put the threaded rod in, and then we'll start putting our parts 
Okay. Together on the lamp. Can I drill a hole since it's my base, since I bree wax it now? Yes. Now you, you look at what we're looking at is the bottom, and John's going to drill along with the grain just below the surface here. Now we're going to put the threaded rod in place and start stacking the elements that are going to make up the body of the lamp. Now these are just typical lamp screws that come in most kits. There's the bolt on the bottom of the threaded rod, and then we have the bolt on the top to keep it in place. Do you know what the Greek word for lamp is? No. Lampus means torch or light. Do you happen to know the Greek word for bad breath? <laughs> I think it's halitosis. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Since these were cast by hand, some of them are a little uneven, so I got to make sure that they're all stacked to make it look geometrically perfect. They look like a discus. Do you know that? There's an Olympic thing. You know when they hold it like this and they go, yeah. And then they do one of these. Don't throw that. We have just the right amount.